Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Ataullah Shah, Associate Professor of Finance at the Institute of Management Sciences, Peshawar, Pakistan. In this video, I am going to show how to create business calendar using Strata software. The video is created for our website opendoors.pk where you can find many similar videos and for our YouTube channel Strata Professor. For this video demonstration, we shall use data from Pakistan Stock Exchange. The data is for index points. Pakistan Stock Exchange has weekends on Saturday and Sunday. The data in our data set is from July 1997 to December 2016. As we can see, the data is not regularly spaced. So to see this problem, let us uh, declare the data as panel data set. The command is TS set date. Uh, as we can see, Strata tells us that there are gaps in the data set. To see the problem more clearly, let us create a lagged variable for the index numbers. We shall use the generate function gen, uh, name of the new variable is uh, leg index uh, equal to l dot index. As we can see, it has created lots of missing values and this is because the date variable is not regularly spaced. Uh, there are gaps between the date variables. And uh, if we look at the uh, message generated by Stata, it tells us that 1094 missing values were created. <coughs> now we can handle such problems using business calendar of uh, Stata. The process is a little bit complex. Uh, there are several steps which uh, if applied correctly, uh, it will uh, overcome the problem of missing values. So the first thing that we shall uh, do is to create a business calendar file with the extension of uh, STBCAL. So let us open uh, do editor uh, from the Strata window. The, uh, you can open the do editor by clicking on this notebook and pencil sign. To save time, I have already typed in the required inputs of the business calendar file, let me copy those contents into the do editor file. Uh, I have added five uh, lines to the business calendar file. The first line is purpose, which will tell me in future what this calendar was uh, created for. The second line is uh, to tell Stata in the format in which our data is stored. So the data is stored day first, month second, and year on the third line. Uh, the third line is a range of days where our data um, uh, is uh, f uh, from this range. Uh, to be uh, on the safe side, I have created a longer range from 1990 to 2020. The center date, uh, the fourth line, center date tells data uh, to start counting dates from this date onward. You can set this uh, date to be any date. And the fifth uh, line in the business calendar file is the omit line, which tells Tera to omit these dates, which are not business days. For example, uh, Saturday and Sunday, this line will omit all business, uh, all Saturday and Sunday uh, in the given range. We can add more variables uh, and more definition to the omit statement, uh, but for time being, it's okay. Let us save the file. We are um, in place where Strata can find it. The, uh, it is advised to save the file in the current Strata directory. Uh, right now, I'm trying to save it in my personal directory, which is located in uh, C drive, a do folder and personal folder. The extension should be um, business calendar and the file name can be anyone that depends up to the user. Uh, 
so let us save the file with the name uh, psx mm, we can give it a case e calendar or uh, for simplicity i would like to type in psx that is pakistan stock exchange once the file has been saved uh, we can close the uh, this window and load uh, the calendar file into stata memory the command is to uh, type b call load psx psx was the name of the file stata uh, complains that uh, it cannot find psx.st b call uh, might be uh, we have not saved this file in the current directory the current directory is uh, c temp so let us uh, reopen that file and save it in ctemp okay we are in the um, temp directory which is the current directory of this data we'll type in the name of the file psx and make sure the file extension is set to business calendar otherwise it will not work okay now we have saved the file in the new directory and we can reload it from the uh, command uh, review um, the file has been sa uh, loaded successfully with all the inputs showing on the screen okay now once the business calendar has been defined now create a new variable as per the definition of uh, business calendar the command is gen uh, after that we shall specify the name of the new variable let us let us call this new variable as case dead and the function is bofd this bofd function um, takes uh, two argument the first argument is the name of the business calendar which will be enclosed in double quotes so the business calendar name was psx after that type in comma and uh, type the name of the existing date variable in our data set the date variable is named as date so close it and uh, with no message means the command has been uh, successfully um, implemented the new variable is created with the uh, dates uh, that are counted from the first date that was uh, declared with the center date command in the business calendar we can uh, format this new variable so that it is human readable uh, in the create format of the first window um, the last item is business date and uh, from the calendar we shall specify the name of the calendar that is psx okay after that uh, the file the, the new date is formatted um, and the display format is uh, the same as the old one but the coding the uh, the coding behind both the dead are quite different okay once the new um, dead has been created now let's declare the data to be time series data with the new variable uh, and the command is ts set uh, and name of the new variable so TSS name of the new variable is KSE dead. Again, this data tells us that there are gaps in the data set. Might be because the there are other holidays besides uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, which we shall uh, work upon later on. But uh, let's see how many missing values have been uh, reduced from the original count of 1094. So let us create a lagged variable once again. This time we shall name the lagged variable as L2 index, and uh, um, and here we are. The missing values are 217, as compared to the initial count of 1094. So why do we have 217 missing values? Because uh, still there are holidays, for example, Eid days, um, or other public holidays. What we can do is to add more uh, holidays to the business calendar. So let us open the business calendar file again and add uh, 
public holidays for example 14 august is uh, pakistan independence day uh, and since this date uh, repeats each year uh, we can define the omit statement such that it is uh, dropped uh, from the business calendar each year so the command would be not to write the uh, name of uh, the 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 the, spe the, the specific year value rather type in the date and month and uh, put asterisks at the end <coughs> which will tell stata to omit all instances of 14 august in all years similarly we can add one more value that is 21st 25th august which is the birthday of uh, qaid azam mohammad ali jina so uh, add one more statement omit date 25th august and uh, uh, similarly uh, uh, in pakistan we celebrate eid days so uh, each year eid uh, comes on a different day that there is no specific date for that uh, so we have to specify the complete date of uh, the uh, on which uh, the 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 eid occurs so uh, this year uh, eid ul adha was celebrated on 11th october 2016 and 12th october 2016 similarly we can add more and more values to the omit statement uh, but for time being let's try this one save it and reload the uh, business calendar file from the uh, review uh, window we Uh, and Stata tells us that we have all these entries in the business calendar file. Okay, let's generate a new date. Call it case E two. Um, and this time, fourteen missing values were generated because perhaps we have uh, there were uh, uh, there there is data in the uh, data set which, of course, belongs to holidays. Okay. declare the data again with the ts set command using the new variable name uh, format the new variable with percent tb psx psx is the name of the uh, calendar and now we can generate uh, again a lagged va uh, variable for index using this new uh, uh, definition of business calendar so call this new variable as uh, like three index and the number of missing values have been reduced from 217 to 204 and perhaps uh, stata tells us that there are still 204 or 203 holidays in our data sets which we haven't declared in our business calendar so we can do that uh, one by one um, but for typing i think that was um sufficient enough thank you for your time and please visit uh, open uh, www.opendoors.pk for more videos thank you